Welcome back to this week's edition of Bailey Bill. Now we've been off for several weeks with searing heat here out in Central California, but things are cooling off and it's back to the workshop. This week, we're designing, of course, a project that's plenty of fun for the family. It's called Cornhole. Here's how it's done. For this project, I started by researching the dimensions of a cornhole set. Once I had the measurements, I was off to the local hardware store to pick up my supplies. These will serve as the four sides for your cornhole boards. The first step in this build was to measure and mark a set of 1x4s. The long side measures 48 inches, while the shorter side measures 22 and a half inches. I like to use a T-square. This ensures that all my cut lines are straight. Clamping a simple utility clamp holds the square in place. Once it's marked, it's time to cut. Now for this, I use my dual bevel miter saw. I bought this one at Harbor Freight, but I'll add a link to a similar one in the description below. Next, I ripped the sheet of half inch plywood for the tops. You'll need two, each piece measuring 24 by 48 inches. Now it's time to assemble. To connect the sides to the top, I drilled pocket holes using a Craig jig. I drilled five holes along the long side and three holes on the short side. The pocket holes give you a really strong connection and a clean look. I found that attaching quick clamps on all four corners of the board will offer a very secure fit. I also add a large clamp right across the middle of the board for added stability. This ensures that the edges of the top and the sides match up evenly. I use one and a quarter inch Craig screws to fasten the pieces together. Craig makes several different types of screws. I use the coarse thread for softwoods for this project. This particular screw is also rated for outdoor use, which is really important since the game will largely be played on the sidewalk or the grass. Next, it's time to add the brace for my storage container. This is where the bags will be stored when the game is not being used. I secure the brace using a tool called the pocket clamp. One side of the clamp actually fits into the pocket hole, while the other side fits flush on a flat surface. I went into further detail about how to use this tool in a previous video about the Craig jig. Now it's time to make the legs. I cut two 12 inch pieces of the 1x4. On one side of the bottom, I marked it off at 11 and a quarter inches. I then adjusted my miter saw to 11 degrees and made cuts at the bottom of both pieces. On the top of the leg, I made a mark at 1 and 3 quarters from the top and from the side. Next, I drilled a hole in the mark. I took the legs over to my band saw and rounded off the top. Now it was time for a dry fit. To do this, I placed those legs at the bottom corners of the board. I then added an eighth inch spacer piece to give it extra clearance. Now the legs are secured with a two and a half inch long 3 8 carriage bolt, washer, and wing nut. Next, I drilled through the board with a 3 8 drill bit. I used a scrap piece of wood on the outside to help prevent a blowout. Then it's off to the belt sander. Once I finished my desired smoothness, I set the legs off to the side. It's now time for the main event, cutting that main hole. I started by marking the board 9 inches from the top and 12 inches from the side. After drilling a pilot hole, I connected a 6 inch hole saw. I ordered this one off of Amazon. Once the hole was cut, it was time to stain. For this set, I used Verithane's Premium Wood Stain in a traditional cherry finish. I like to stain the pieces using foam brushes. 
Once the top had dried, stain was then added to the sides and underneath. I finished up the project by adding hinges and a hook to the bag storage compartment underneath. Well, all in all, I think they turned out pretty nice. We can't wait to get outside with the family and test them out a little bit. Now, there's lots of customizations you can do with cornhole game sets. This particular one is going to have a nice vinyl decal on the top with your favorite sports team, but you can also leave them stained or even paint them. If you love what you've seen today and you'd like to stay abreast of what we have going on with your favorite DIY projects and furniture bills, click that like button and smash subscribe to stay up to date on what's going on. For Bailey Bill, until the next time, I'm Anthony Bailey.